Hello again, Michael from Man Warrior Yoga. Today we're uh, kind of doing a little bit of a, a fun flow. We're getting into the hips a little bit. Those hips always uh, seem to tighten up with the sitting and driving and working at desk, etc. Just kind of working through the hips a little bit. I'm going to try a few new uh, connections of poses. And every time we try something new, just notice how you respond to it. Initially, new is challenging. New can seem exciting. New can seem also very daunting. Uh, as an experience. So give it a try and know that each time you do that new thing it becomes a little bit easier as your body adapts. You create new neurological pathways that your body can adapt to what you're actually doing so it makes it easier and that's why sometimes uh, you can move into a little bit of comfort when doing things repetitively because your body does it without even you thinking about it. But enough of that. We'll, we'll discover that a little bit later. Come into a, a seated position, press the soles of the feet together, sitting up, upright, shoulders stacking over hips, and let those hips open a little bit. We're going to work a little bit into the adductors, the inner thighs, possibly even using the elbows to open up the knees, let them release. All right. Good. You feel a little bit of an opening, a little bit of warmth through the uh, through the adductors, through the inner thighs. We might even increase that a little bit. Body on our back. Take the insteps of each foot into our happy baby pose. We gently rock side to side. You can even inhale to extend the legs. Exhale, bring the knees back towards the armpits. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Releasing here, we'll come all the way back over. Come into, spend a moment just in our child's pose. So important to rest and be centered. Once you're centered, once you've got your central focus, you can direct your energies towards what you want to achieve. So set your focus initially. Slow the breath down. And breathe all the way down into the belly. Good. Start warming up the back by scooping the chest forward into our cobra. And then exhale, lower the chest, raise the hips and come back into our child. Let's find a little bit of that flow here. Inhale and exhale. Importantly, squeeze those elbows in so you're using your middle and upper back as opposed to your shoulders. Stay out of the rotator cuff. So watch the elbows touch the side ribs and squeeze forward. Lower the chest, raise the hips back into child. Couple more. Good. Did I say a couple? Okay, last one. Good. Press down into the hands, tuck the toes, let's find our downward dog. Ah, stretch out through the hamstrings, pedal the feet out. Release the uh, back of the legs. Feels good. I'm going to step the right foot inside of the right hand. To do this, really a three-step process. Bring the knee to the chest. Then bring the weight over the wrists. Bring the weight chest forward and then extend and land to the heel beside the, beside the wrist. So it is really three steps. I'll do that one more time. Through a downward dog. Knee to chest. Tuck it in tight. Bring the chest forward and then extend with the heel to land down to the mat. Good. I'm going to find a couple of different variations with her low lunge. Low lunge, fantastic for the hips, fantastic for the, for the quads, lower legs in general. And basically, do what you can do with the low lunge. You may drop down the knee. That's fine. Perhaps you're up on the toe and your hands are flat. Perhaps you're all the way up onto the fingertips. 
or even the hands through the knee. We're making sure we're working those hips, left hip pressing forward, right hip pressing back. Shoulders stacking over hips. Good. From here, bring both hands inside of the right knee. Walk the right knee out at about a 45 degree angle. Point the knee in the direction of the toes. Hands move to the left. And we're just going to bend into the elbows here. Do a few little warm up push ups. So, <coughs> excuse me. Lowering down. Inhale on the way up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Open up through the inner thigh, through that quad at the back, the hips. We'll just one more. Good. Taking the right hand outside of the right foot again. I'm going to step back through downward dog. Okay. Let's come forward into high plank. Follow the breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One last time. Bring the chest forward, round the upper back. Good. And we're stepping the left foot inside the left wrist. Knee to chest, ground through the heel. Find the variation of the low lunge at work for you. You want, <coughs> you want the ankle to be underneath the knee though to protect that knee. You don't want, you don't want it here putting a lot of pressure on the knee. So make sure that foot is coming forward, even if you have to give it a little bit of hand to bring it forward. Good. Left both hands inside of the left knee, walk the left knee out. <coughs> Find a downward dog type grip with the hands. Exhale, lower and down. Inhale, pressing back up. <coughs> Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. One more. Good. Walk the hands either side of that front foot. Press back through downward dog. <coughs> I'm going to stay with our low lunges today. Do a couple of combinations. So with the next low lunge, we're going to step the right foot forward, and then the left knee comes forward into our tree pose. Inhale to extend high. Exhale to lower all the way back down, and back through our low lunge. So we're creating a little bit of functional movement, joining a couple of poses together that don't normally go together but we're also creating new pathways in the body. So it's going to be difficult to start, but give it a go. Inhale, knee comes forward. Hands come to heart center. Extend. Exhale. Lower back down. Getting easier every time. Good. Step through. And just one more. Step all the way back through downward dog. Okay. Same thing on the left side. Step the left foot forward, knee to chest. Bring it forward to the heel. Find your low lunge, whatever you're comfortable with, and then step the right foot forward. Through, ground, inhale, and exhale. See if we can stay with the breath, speed it up just a little bit. Inhale, coming forward. Whoops. Exhale, or release. Come all the way back down. Do a couple more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Good. Step all the way back through downward dog. And if you want to, you can take the knees, come down into your child's pose and take a little bit of a breath. 
But as I said, every time you do something new, you create a little bit of a uh, new way to, uh, new instruction manual, if you will, in your own mind. So you're creating that, not only in your mind, more importantly, in your body. And that's where it's going to stick. So next time we go through that, it's going to be a little bit easier. Good. Come back through our dog. Lifting the hips high. And we do the same step through. And we may even see if we can take hold of the big toe or the opposite foot. So right foot comes forward. Left foot, when it comes through, we take hold of the big toe. We stretch it forward and maybe out to the side. Back through to center and step all the way back. Good, how'd that feel? Let's do it a couple more times. Inhale, toe, extend, and then back. Inhale, stack the shoulders. Woo! <laughs> Sometimes you get a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. Find your grounding through your right foot. We do one more. Press down, step through. Grab the toe, extend, reach, whoop, back through the center, and all the way back down. Good, down, we're done. All right, guess what? Other side, left leg. Step that left leg forward into your low lunge. Let's give it a shot with the right. See if we can focus with our eyes, a spot just in front of you. It'll help your balance. Also helps clear the mind of all those thoughts that are going on. On the inhale, step through. Hold on to the toe, reach, extend. Woo. We'll edit that out, don't worry. <laughs> inhale, coming forward. And again. The last one. And back through downward dog. Good, now I have a little bit more for you. Something once again a little bit different into our side plank. So come into your high plank, roll over onto the outside of the left foot, extend the right hand high. We're gonna take the right foot back behind us, place it down, maybe extend it long, maybe take it forward and tap the toe. Inhale, extend, and tap behind. Reach, tap, Reach, tap, one more time. Good. And come all the way back, come back for a downward dog. Anytime you want to take a break, take a break. It's your practice. I'm here for you, so do it at your pace. You can only do what you can do. So when you're ready, we'll change over to the opposite side. Find your dog first. Press back through the hands, hinge the hips, come forward into your high plank, roll over onto the outside of the right foot, extend the left high, foot steps back onto the ball of the foot, then we straighten the leg and we tap it forward. Reach it tall and step it back behind. Extend, and tap, reach, and behind. One last. Extend, tap, reach, and behind. Good. Come all the way back down to your child's pose. Have a few breaths there. Resettle, regroup, and well done today. A little bit different, a few different poses we've combined together, a few different variations, and something that next time you do that, next time you encounter those type of poses, it's a little bit easier because you've been there, you've done that, you bought the t-shirt even possibly. Great work today, looking forward to seeing you on the mat real soon. 
Until then, make sure you like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And we look forward to seeing you on the mat. Until then, take care.